Well, good evening, friends. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, life is funny sometimes. Seasons change and things evolve, whether you like them or not, you know? I'm looking down here at my fishies, and um, you see all the leaves that are beginning to fall down here, which means it's a change of another season. We're in the twilight of this year. It's, it's going. And there's nothing we can do about it because I love coming out here and spending time with the fish. But unfortunately, what no matter what I do, the cold weather is coming. And when the cold weather comes, they head for the deep end. They hibernate. Whether we want them to or not, this is what they do. It's part of their life cycle. They wait out the winter, and come springtime, they'll be back bigger and stronger and ready to enjoy the spring, the summer, and the fall. And it's almost like saying goodbye to a friend. Some things are out of our control. And that's what Dak Prescott said today. We've seen Dak out there, you know, working out, beginning to move around. You know, last week he was in a walking boot. And he said, you know, if it was up to me, I'd play. But it's not up to me. It's beyond my control. And I have to look at things in the big picture. You know, I could probably get a couple of pond heaters, you know, kind of like the heaters that you have for your jacuzzi and put them out here for the winter time to keep the pond warm. But doing that is messing up the natural life cycle of the fish. I don't know what the long-term effects will be to heating the pond year around for the fish. So you have to let things run their course. And this is where Dak is like, yeah, if this was a playoff game or we needed this for playoffs, there'd be no question I'd play. But we have to look at the longevity of it. We have 11 games left or as Micah Parsons said 14 and one game is not import more important than the other ones until you get the playoffs and this is where do you go ahead and say we're all in for this game and Dak Prescott is not completely healed because this is the leg that was broken so clearly this could have been tied to the injury and still coming back you can't have catastrophic damage like that without having some ramifications and some issues when you think of Jalen Smith and his knee injury how it affected his foot because it's all you know the knee bone connected to the thigh bone and thigh bone you know what I'm saying so Dak is we'll see now we got tomorrow to practice and keep working and see how it goes you got the walkthrough, well, actually traveling Saturday. So we'll need to know by Saturday whether or not he's going to go to even make the trip to Minneapolis. For me, I want Dak out there every game. I want Dak out there getting, I would love for Dak to get the MVP because I'd love to be able to throw that at all of those Dak dissenters, Dak haters, Dak doubters. Dak hating losers to shut him up and say look what he did but more than seeing him out there every single game I want to see him out there holding up the Lombardi truck and in this day and age in football it's hard to play every single game this is one that we're going to need to rely on the medical staff to hopefully come up with the right answer on whether or not Dak should play. Yeah, it'll be interesting. But like I said the other night, it's almost, it's almost funny to me because I say things and it doesn't have weight or credibility to it. People will say, you don't work for the Cowboys or ESPN or, you know, you're not credible. But if you watch the show enough and listen to the things I say, you'll find out that I actually am spot on. 
told you guys about three weeks ago, come the bye week, the Dallas Cowboys may be looking at some different changes on that offensive line. And that Lyle Collins wouldn't necessarily automatically be plugged in as a starter. I told you that. I told you that. I told you guys when people were touting how good Denver was and Carolina, they're 3-0! I said, wait till October, because that's when you really find out what teams are what. Just listen a bit. Don't judge me on what I say at this moment. Look back at my track record and follow it. In 2016, after the Senior Bowl, I was that guy that said, Dak Prescott is the best quarterback for the Dallas Cowboys. And as we sit here in 2021, every quarterback that was drafted in that class is either no longer playing, not a starter, or not even with the same team that they started out with, except for Dak Prescott. Hmm. Well, somebody commented and said, I want to see the fish pond. And today was a warmer day, so these days are few and far between. And of course, they're looking for one of those last meals here as the temperatures go down. So let me see if I can get them to come play for probably one of the last few times this year for you guys. So White! Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Come here, fishy. Come to Papa. Come to Papa. Hey. Hey, guys. Say hello to the camera. Hey. Can, oh, let me move the camera so you can see my babies. Hold it, I'll get it right here in a second. Broke-ass media. Here we go, guys. Say hello to my little friends. Come here, guys. Say hello to the camera. Can you see? Look. Come here, guys. Ooh. You see that? Okay, come on up and eat. Yeah. They're beautiful. They're my babies. And sadly, season's changing. There's nothing I can do about it. But wait until the springtime when they come back out. I'm Mark Holmes, and well, I'll see you guys tonight. We'll be live streaming the game. Peace.